Well, it's that time. It's about time. It's time for the Bros of the Brew once again. I just dropped the word time three times in the last 30 seconds, which is cool. But hey, we're here tonight to talk about what you would do if you ever had the chance to get into a time machine. And speaking of time, somebody just got here barely in time for tonight's show. Joel over there cracking the uh, Bud Light Lime. What's going on out there in Vegas? Uh, <clears throat> it's actually nicer out here than it is up there. It's like 75. It was hot here today, but I wouldn't know if we have a hockey jersey on. But that's not what we got time for today. Tonight we're talking about time machines. If you had a chance to go into a time machine, where or when would you go? We got a lot of great answers on social media, so we want you to join our conversation. Joel, we'll go to you first. If you had a chance to get into a time machine, would you get in one, and then where or when would you go? Oh, like I could go backwards or forwards? You can go anywhere you want, yeah. It's a time machine. It's free. Okay. Um, I would go backwards first. Mm -hmm. um, a couple years. Just a couple. And I would, I would, I would sports bet. <laughs> I'd make really, really big sports bets with some insider knowledge. <laughs> and and then uh, I would go ahead and live the rest of my life uh, just fine. But I would, I would definitely go forward in time just to see how things are after the war. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised at all that you said that you would go back in time and sports bet because that's something that I would do. I would actually take go to two destinations, and mine are both in the past. The first one I would go to is I definitely want to go see Babe Ruth live at Yankee Stadium. That would be number one right there. I want to see the old stadium in the 30s, 20s and 30s. That would be awesome. And my second one would be I would love to go back to Las Vegas, but say like in the 70s or 80s when the mob ran your city and actually like you got a good gamble and it was just, you know, you knew people, you got connected. And I think that would be a lot of fun. Plus, if I had, just like you said, foreknowledge of sports betting, uh, you know what? I might put a couple of those down, but the mob probably wouldn't enjoy that at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. So uh, what we're trying to say is if we could get in a time machine, it sounds like you and I would walk away millionaires. Oh, more than that. <laughs> All right, kajillion, bazillionaires. How's that? Well, we want to invite you watching right now to join us live yeah. on social media. And I already got some people chiming in right now. And uh, oh, hello to you too. But um, we want to know where do you want to go in a time machine? So let's take a couple of your uh, comments right now. Let's go to Starman first. And Starman says... I'd go back in time and buy big amounts of Apple stock when they were broke. I'd own the world by now. Ooh, another one with the monetary thoughts. But he's right. If you went back in time and bought Apple stock, you'd be rich. Apple stock, Bitcoin, it's basically the same as sports betting. You're just using knowledge you know now to invest in something that blew up. Yeah. One of our live viewers just chimed in and said 1993. I'd like to know what was significant while you go back in 1993. But you just nailed our next comment you said about Bitcoin because Mr. Pizarro says he'd go back seven years ago and tell, him, tell myself to invest in Bitcoin. $100 investment is worth $75 million now. $75 million, is that before or after taxes? But I, I don't think Bitcoin is going to be worth that much. Aren't they having problems or something? Uh, they're not having problems from the years of 2010 to 2017. All right. Well, so, okay, you got it for now, but there's something like they don't have like all the stability or something in like the background that would like make it worth it. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a financial expert. That's why I, uh, I watch sports and work in television. How about you? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. All right, we're saying no to the Bitcoin, but let's take a little live comment right now. We're not live, but one of us said in, and Vamos Yankee says, I would go back to the year I graduated high school and have a serious talk with myself. Ooh, now that's that's a question. So would you, what would you tell your high school self about the future and now in life? I think that's an interesting one that a lot of people would probably want to do mm -hmm. overall if they could. Um, there's a time machine. There's a lot better uses than just that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, probably... The best thing to do would just be like, be more careful in life. Uh, you're not going to learn shit in high school. You're going to learn everything after high school. Mm -hmm. So that would be some big advice, but be more careful, definitely. Or talking about doing things, be more careful about the people that you have done. Never mind, that was a bad joke. But yeah, I would probably, um, there were some things like I thought that I learned that they taught us in school that were like, oh, you're going to learn this in real life that ended up like not being true. Especially like my high school had us so unprepared for college. They told you it was going to be this way with these critical papers and this and that. And then when you get out in the real world, you find out that most of the high school world is pretty much a bunch of crap. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I don't, I don't think our uh, whole educational system is super. Ding. <laughs> no, no. That, but it would be if we were in Japan. But we put a poll out on Twitter, as we always do, and we want to know, would you get into a time machine? And 60% of our viewers says, yeah, absolutely, I'd get in a time machine. 40% said, no, they wouldn't. And clearly, if the poll comes up 60-40 like that, it has a 0% margin of error. <laughs> 
Absolutely. Three out of the five people that voted are so on our side. Yeah. Hey, speaking of school, you learned some quality math skills in school. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. The fractions thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I studied hard for that one. Yeah. Now, one of our live viewers asked, they said it would have to be a DeLorean. Ah, Back to the Future, the DeLorean. Now, I wonder if you'd get yourself back in the past, though, and make sure that nobody bought those cars, because that whole thing fell apart and never became the car of the future. Although, I I've did never see online... It. I did see online, though, that they're actually going to try to make DeLoreans again. Are you back to the I've future? never seen it. You, oh, you've never seen Back to the Future? Oh. Nah. Oh. we got to go back in time and teach you millennials good movies. <laughs> What's an eight track? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I got a whole box of them in the attic back home, my grandmother's attic, that are probably worth a whole like fifty cents now. But yeah, eight track. Not even not even that. No, 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 definitely not. Well, we want to thank our live viewers for joining us tonight for the show, and we appreciate you chiming in. And Thursday on Kick It Back with Jersey Joe, I got a good one because speaking of time, we're gonna find out. We're gonna play a game. Is it older than Betty White? I'm gonna name a famous invention. All my friends have to do is tell me is it older or younger than Betty White. I make a great game out of it. And what what you are on the show as well on Thursday. You and I shot that part. Jo later. Joe and I may have filmed that in Seattle this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. But if you want to see it, it's Thursday at noon on YouTube. Big Mac Jersey Joe, give me a like or a thanks for that. So, Joe, hey, so we have learned that things we learned in high school we uh, didn't appreciate in life and that we would go back in time and try to make a lot of money if we had a time machine. Yeah, f high school. It's about making money. <laughs> it is about making money. <laughs> Maybe that's a real life lesson they should teach kids in school. Don't screw around. Be smart and make money. Well, we want to thank our live viewers, Jersey Joe here. I on another crazy episode, but we'll see you next time. I'll see you.